Hello boys and girls, Alex here again. I'm just going to try and put together a short video, although all my videos plan to be short but they never eventuate because I piss fart around and carry on. But this video is really designed to supplement an article I wrote for Lumberjocks which covers uh, the inserts I made for this Freud Dialer Width Dado packaging. When I bought the item, it came with this shitty, and I mean shitty, fragile plastic packaging, housing and all that, which just crumbled within a couple of days or weeks of using and all that. And I decided to replace it using uh, MDF, uh, well, basically MDF, with my uh, dowel layering technique. And uh, without further ado, oh, before I do, um, I'll open it up and you'll see hopefully the MDF, let's just see if the camera can cover it, yeah the MDF, oop, here we go, covering it, um, but that MDF was just uh, a red pl brittle plastic shit. Now what I'll first do is uh, show you the sketch up and then I'll pull everything apart and show you how it all fits back together. Here we are in SketchUp. This uh, is just a picture of the base with the spindle. This is a profile of the chipper blades that the whole internal is based around. As you can see those internal layers are profiled or shaped according to the profile of the chipper blades. You'll notice that each blade will be sort of staggered 45 degrees to stop the teeth from chipping each other. This is the two top layers that's going to house the inner and out, or sorry, the, both the outer blades. These are the spaces that separate the blades, uh, the saw blades here. And this is a picture of the kit and caboodle put together. For all those interested, a peekaboo so you can see an x-ray view of it and you can then rotate and have a look at it and if you want to go back to the other one, again, you can rotate, look underneath, look on top, see how it all hangs together, fits together and all that. Oop, let's do it that way. So, yeah, that's basically it. Um, it just gives you an idea of what it looks like. Anyway, that's all for the SketchUp presentation. These are the dado blades that make up the kit. You could always just toss them in there loosely and uh, hope they don't kiss each other and break their teeth, but uh, the chances are you're going to have a lot of missing teeth and not out of your mouth but out of your saw blades. So what I decided to do is replace that plastic crap with this MDF insert. Now, this was based on the form of the plastic and uh, as I say I use my standard which you'll probably get to know by now MDF lamination using dowels to align and all that which just basically means, means uh, glue up is much easier um, that just slips straight in it's a pretty snug fit as you'll notice it doesn't clank in because there's a uh, not much room to let the air out. I did have to do a bit of trimming up to make sure it fit in. But anyway, it fits in beautifully. It adds a few extra, maybe a kilo or so, uh, weight to the box. But then again, I'm not going to be running marathons with it or not uh, taking my lunch with it. Now, the first thing you do is grab your first chipper. Now, you'll notice that these sort of teethy parts in this box are staggered so that you can actually put in a chipper then then you grab the next sorry before we go on put the first chipper in just go straight into the box the next one is separated with uh, the separator it's a uh, 150 mil mdf with a 16 mil piece of 3mm MDF on it, They're, that's designed to handle the spindle of the 
blade or the spindle of the table saw and they're both three mil thick simplest way to do it you can either put it in straight away and then drop the blade or center the blade make sure you stagger the blade and that's going i put in the first two blades look i'm not going to show you how the other blades go in they go in the same way except on top of each other naturally you can't put it under it so um, and I'll get back to you when I'm ready to put the outer blades on one thing I will mention that all the chippers are the same well not all of them that's bullshit um, most of the chippers are the same or the teeth are the same thickness except for one and um, this is thinner but naturally that's just so you can make up the appropriate combination of stuff but just bear that in mind and I keep that on top so I know exactly where it is. The next one to fit is the outer blade without the dial on. Um, again, that slips on. You'll also notice that these sort of like segments that, or these teeth or whatever, sit there, stop there so that this one uh, can then rest on that otherwise uh, you wouldn't be able to get it in now it's so designed to clear the blade the blade can be spun around so you notice that there's no teeth hitting together and finally the magic dialer dado brilliant little thing and of course don't forget i actually made this video beforehand and forgot to put the elusive uh, spanner in and again cut uh, out just to fit in there and believe me without that you'd never put the dado on lock the box and there you have it how's that and to top it all off I have just found that little bloody 13th uh, Dell that I cut for one of the other video demos that's just been floating around on the desk I suppose I should put it away somewhere so I won't lose it. Anyway, boys and girls, that's it. And hopefully this one is going to be short. Bye for now.